Hi friends, many people are asking me how we can connect to Snowflake from Python. So in this video, I am going to show you how we can download Snowflake connector for Python and how we can import that in a Python program and by using that how we can connect to Snowflake and how we can write a programs in Python. Okay, so first let's go through the steps that are required to connect to Snowflake from Python. So the first step is we have to if you don't have Python in your desktop, you can install Anaconda Okay from Google. So let me show that so go to Google just uh, type install Anaconda and click So you will get a lot of options here. So installing on Windows So if you are using Windows machine, so you can click here Okay and uh, so by following this instruction so you can see here download the Anaconda installer by clicking here you can download the anaconda so once the download and installation of anaconda is completed then you will be able to see a program called uh, uh, application called spider so from spider you can write the python programs right so if you don't have idea so you can follow this uh, first step to <coughs> install anaconda and you can open spider and you can write python programs okay the second step is uh, installing snowflake connector for python okay so for that what we have to do once the anaconda installation is completed and if you are uh, you are sure like python is uh, ready in your system then you can uh, open command prompt and you can just run this command so this command will install the snowflake connector for python so how we can do just go to search bar just type on cmd that will open the command prompt so just uh, <clears throat> copy and paste this command there okay i am going to paste these steps in the description of this video so you can get uh, this command and you just can paste here okay and run it so in my machine i have already installed so i am not doing it just copy this command paste here enter so with that the snowflake connector for python will be installed on your system Okay, so the third thing is so we have to import this uh, snowflake connector in in our Python program Okay so We have to import this so how we can do so if you have basic idea on snowflake uh, on Python programming You can easily understand my program. Okay, so after importing then we can use this statement snowflake connector dot connect uh, so let me show you okay these two steps how we can import the connector and how we can connect to the snowflake from python program okay so this is the program a sample program i have written okay for your uh, easy understanding so here i am <coughs> importing the libraries required uh, for writing this program so i am importing first of all i am importing snowflake dot connector so once your snowflake connector installation is completed so you can import like this simply import snowflake dot connector so if i am using any panda statements here i am importing pandas as pd and i am importing a csv so here uh, my requirement is so this program requirement is i want to get uh, count of all the tables present in a schema okay in a snowflake database so there will be so many schemas and in each schema there will be so many tables so i want to bring counts of all tables that present in a schema so that is my requirement so i want to connect uh, uh, to that snowflake account from this python program i want to get all those counts and i want to write all those counts into a csv file okay so that is my requirement so let's see how we can write a program for this so as i want to write all the counts into a csv file so i am importing the csv library here and so <clears throat> i am maintaining all variables in a uh, in a separate library called variables that's why i am importing all the variable values from this variables library so this is a python another python program so if you see i have another python program here that contains the values of my variables or parameters okay so i'll i'll come to that step okay so from variable uh, if i am using any variables then only this statement is required so where i have to maintain all the variables and values in one file and i have to import otherwise if you want to hard code your variables or parameters you can remove this statement 
okay so here i am installing uh, i am importing all the libraries then i am defining this snowflake connector okay so i am taking a variable sfcon okay snowflake connector equals to so this is the connect uh, this is the statement we are using for connecting to the snowflake from python okay snowflake dot connector dot connect and we have to supply the required values like our snowflake username snowflake password and our snowflake account id so if you see here i am mentioning user equals to username because i have given this value of username variable in my variables dot py library so if you see here so this is my variables py so i am not opening because it contains my username and password okay so when i uh, so i am maintaining my username and password in that file otherwise if you want to hard code for your hard code so if you want to practice by hard coding so instead of this statement you can put this statement user equals to your username you can hard code your username in the uh, single quotes okay and password so even you can use the variable name as password or you can hard code like this password equals to your password okay in single quotes and account id i am giving my account id here okay so account id dot the region okay account id dot region this is my account id where i want to connect to my snowflake account okay so this is the snowflake connection statement sfcon equals to this is a variable connection variable and i'm uh, mentioning the statement with username password and account and i have to define one uh, uh, another variable so that uh, i will be using for connecting to the snowflake so the statement for that is sf equals to sfcon so whatever the connection variable we have defined dot cursor so this is the syntax uh, we use so later on we will be using this snowflake connection for writing for executing all our sql statements okay so i have to uh, did uh, i have to define this cursor variable so the syntax is uh, any variable name i am using this uh, sf as a variable name sf equals to sfcon whatever the connection uh, uh, statement we have uh, given here dot cursor okay now i want to execute one sql statement so what is my requirement i want to get the count of all tables okay count from all the tables from a schema so suppose uh, uh, we have uh, this database right so if you see so we have sample database like information schema right so uh, th there are so many databases here my db practice data snowflake sample data okay so from so in this snowflake i i can see so lot of schemas right Wait. so sorry okay uh, in the practice data so this is uh, nothing but uh, the, uh, the data shared by uh, snowflake sample data so here you can see lot of databases like um, uh, tp cds uh, tp chsf1 sf10 100000 so all these databases are there all these schemas are there suppose i want to get uh, the count of uh, count from all tables okay so number of records present in the customer number of records present in the line item okay i want uh, the count of all tables present in this schema so that is my requirement so by using this uh, uh, simple statement you can get that actually select table name comma row count from so if you have some idea on information schema so this will maintain all the metadata uh, information of our database this schema maintains all our metadata information so whatever the so here we have one view called tables so this uh, maintains all the table information like uh, the table catalog the table schema table name row count okay when it was created all those uh, details it will contain okay so here what i am saying where table schema equals to so i want to get the count from this uh, schema so okay and the table type equals to base table there can be two table types one is uh, base table or view so here i want to get uh, the count from table types right? so i am saying table type equals to base table so whenever you execute this command so the result will be like this so it will uh, just show you uh, the table name and uh, uh, number of records present in the table now i want to do the same thing from python program and i want to export this result to one csv file so that is my requirement 
okay so this program is for that so i am executing the same statement here okay sf dot execute so just to put that statement over here okay and so the statement has been executed now i want to fetch all the results uh, from that um, now i want to fetch all those results and i want to save in some variable so what i am saying counts equals to sf dot fetch all okay so there are uh, some functions called fetch one fetch two fetch all like that so here i want to fetch all the results from above statement and i want to store it in the counts okay so that's why i'm uh, given like this and uh, if you want to see those results whatever present whatever the values present in this counts you can simply put like this print of counts okay so if you put if you just write this it will show like one array but if you want to see this as a table like uh, just we have seen right here so if you want to see the results like this okay so what you can do so you you have to define some pandas data frame so by using these two statements you can get that in the form of table so for our requirement these two statements are not mandatory but if you want to see the results in the day in the table format these are required like um, data frame equals to pd dot data frame okay of counts pd dot data frame of counts okay so counts is the uh, variable that is holding the results so and just to print that df okay so if you don't have pandas idea just ignore this part okay and now so i am done with the fetching the results that means uh, uh, table counts now i want to write that those table counts to a csv file okay so how we can do that so by opening one uh, uh, csv file in the in write format okay so i am opening this uh, file from my desktop so this if you see in my desktop currently there is no table counts dot csv file so whenever i execute this program it will be created this csv file will be created and all the counts will be uh, exported to this csv file i am opening this csv file in a write format okay and new line so i want to write the uh, next line in the so if you have some idea new line character so i want to write the results into the next line okay so this is the syntax how we can open a csv file in writable format okay and i am saying uh, open this as a file okay and uh, i will be using this file variable here in the next statement so how we can write so i, I have just opened this csv file in the right format then i am writing a statement like uh, uh, i am using one uh, um, statement called writer equals to csv dot writer and so whatever the file you want to you 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 just have opened just take that file and delimiter so suppose if your table contains more than one column so uh, how you can separate your columns by using a comma or by using a, some other uh, symbols you can mention that delimiter value here and i what i want to write to this to the, to, to this file writer dot write rows so this is the statement we used to write something to the files so i am saying writer dot write rows so what i want to write so whatever present in this counts okay so just uh, i am saying write uh, whatever the results uh, we have fetched from above sql statement into this csv file and just to close your snowflake connection variable okay so this is the program so let's go to spider and execute this program okay if you see in my desktop currently there is no file right so so this is the same uh, um, program i was explaining in the notepad so just copy copied and pasted here so let me run this okay so if you see here so i have two print statements here okay print of counts so so this is the a result of this uh, print okay so customer table is having 150 so 1500000 records nation table is having 25 records like that okay so it is storing in the form of one array and i have one more print statement print of data frame so i told you right if we want to display the results in the format of table rows and columns so this is customer table count is this one nation table count is this one like this supplier table count is this one 
like this okay and in the end we are writing so if you want to check validate the validate this so go to your desktop and see here just now one file was created with the table counts so let me open that so here you can see whatever the results we just have seen that was exported into this this file okay so like this we can export the results to a csv file okay and suppose not only this table so this database contains so many uh, schemas right just now i was showing so i have schemas like uh, tpch sf1 sf10 100 i want to bring the counts of tables present in all these schemas so how we can do that okay so uh, we can write the query like this select table schema table name row count from this uh, information schema dot tables where table catalog equals to practice data so you can see this practice data here right so uh, this is the practice data database this is nothing but uh, the snowflake sample data i just have named it as practice data okay so here i want to get the counts from all tables from all these schemas so this is the statement for this so let me execute this okay you can see here this is the table schema this is the table name and this is the row count like this if you see there are so uh, there are almost uh, 86 results now let me show you i want to export this results to a csv file without logging into snowflake uh, snowflake ui okay so how we can do simply just to copy paste this statement here okay that's it save and run this <clears throat> see now you can see the results here so there are total 86 results so uh, uh, here it is not showing you all the results but uh, if you you can go here and you can check from the desktop file okay now it is showing all 86 rows okay so here uh, this is a comma separated values right so it is not showing any delimiters here so if you want to change your delimiter okay you can do like this okay so suppose i want to use uh, this pipe symbol as my delimiter okay so let me show you how the file will be created now okay the program is running permission denied okay so this is in the op this was opened right so i have closed that and i am returning so now let's go to desktop and open this file and now observe the records so they were separated by uh, the pipe symbol if you see here so this is your uh, uh, schema this is your table and this is the number of records okay so it's very simple how we can uh, uh, connect to snowflake from python okay so we have to install this snowflake connector and import this snowflake connector in the python program and define the snowflake connection variable like this and write a program like this okay i hope this is helpful and uh, thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube youtube channel and uh, i have even my udemy course so this is my course I'll paste the link of this course in the in the description of this video. So if you want uh, all these videos, PPTs, uh, queries, files for practice, everything, you can purchase this from my from Udemy. Thanking. Thank you. Bye.